There you Aww, go. She's cute. I finally got a date. I think she's a kid. She's three years older than me, recently divorced, and she's a mom. Ah, she's a MILF! <laughs> Just joking. I use TikTok to find a Valentine's Day date. So TikTok has literally changed my life. If you're new here, I was an analyst at a bank for 10 months, and then in September, I decided to pack up all my stuff and live out of my car and drive around the country. At the time, I had like 25,000 TikTok followers, and I was trying to figure out how to make money making content. I'm still not really there so far, so if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and help me somehow try to monetize me making videos. But at the time, TikTok did change my life from taking me away from my core slave labor, but financially stable, to now a starving creative pursuing my dreams every single day, but still starving. To be honest, I don't know which option is actually better. So last year for Valentine's Day, I surprised my best friend. I brought her flowers, her favorite snacks, and a nice koala. The flowers literally died in a week. I don't know why I got her a potted plant. I even hand wrote a letter of all of our hangouts, but I ended up surprising her with her favorite vegan restaurant. It made me so happy seeing her happy. So 48% of Americans are spending Valentine's Day alone this it's over a hundred million adults in America. Most of my friends have never even been on a good date. So I decided to use TikTok to find someone that really deserves one. That's where I found Cassie, who's a recently divorced single mother working full time to support herself. So I decided to hop on a call with her and ask her if she was still free for Valentine's Day. <laughs> And she said yes. In quarantine in general, it's pretty hard to go out on a date, but I think it's even more difficult for someone that was recently divorced and even harder for someone that has a child. Taking care of kids is literally the hardest job. I'm sorry, mom. I made my mom's life a living hell. Sometimes me and my brother would go into Walmart and we'd take stuff and throw them into the different aisles. Yeah, it would have beat me as well. So girls like guys that are in good shape. And since I'm out of shape because I have not been able to work out, I decided to go to the gym, hit the weights, and we all know that girls only care about chest, so I did only chest. <laughs> I'm not joking. After that, I need to make my car look slightly presentable. Okay, my car is like really freaking messy. All right, let's try our best. Oh, Jesus. I have people at this Home Depot parking lot are like, what the hell is happening right now? How you doing, man? Hey, how are you? Just trying to clean up my house car. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, we have a lot of work cut out for us before Valentine's Day. I've never done one of those how I sleep in my car videos. So what I normally do, put all this crap on one side, lay all my blankets down on one side, and I sleep like this. I, I close the top, by the way. All right, it just took me like an hour to clean my car. And of course, I had to get her flowers and chocolate because it's Valentine's Day. So I headed to Trader Joe's to get What's some of my guys? favorite Today goods. Today we're going to be going to Trader Joe's to get some Valentine's Day goods for my date. Oh God, car. <laughs> I hate doing this. There would be a freaking line for Trader Joe's. God. I asked her what her favorite color was and it's light pink. Perfect. So I decided to get her these flowers. I'm not sure what these ones are, but hopefully she likes them. All right. Nice. Valentine's Day gift. Depends what she likes. I don't even know this girl. Oh, interesting. It's a complete stranger I met online. Oh, that's wonderful. I feel like flowers and shops. That's what oh, we that's have so far. girl likes troubles. Take care, man. Take care. Nice camera. Thank you. Appreciate it. We got the goods. Now she'll have to fall in love with me. I mean, hopefully this makes her Valentine's Day special. You know, that's the goal. Just, I would love just to see her smile like a lot. I love making people smile. It's one of my favorite things. So <laughs> after getting my chocolate and flowers, I had to get her something. For her daughter, of course. Everyone likes sloths. Perfect. All right. So I decided to get this little stuffed animal for the daughter. People always ask what I eat when I live in my car. You can get 10 chicken nuggets at Burger King for like $1.50. It's insane. Mm, that's like 15 cents a nugget. Honey mustard, kill them. <laughs> All right, I got uh, truffles. I got some biscuits and I got two sets of flowers. A sloth for her child. I hope she likes this. I didn't know what to get you. Oh, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh, that's for your kid. I'm not gonna lie, I read Perry Joe's for me. <laughs> Okay, these are my oh, favorite biscuits. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right, here's the house tour. So it's beautiful. Thank you. This is where I sleep. Okay. And uh, this is my guitar where I can jam out by myself and nice. serenade myself. Thank Whoa. you so much for these chocolates, by the way. This is actually so cute. Cass told me that her favorite thing to eat was Japanese food, so I decided on sushi. Except I totally forgot a reservation. How long's the wait? An hour. Or, or is it? Oh, wait. The wait was originally an hour long, but luckily they snuck us in. That was a wonderful hour wait. Um, what? Wow. 
I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. This tuna. Salmon. Like, uh, with this angle. <laughs> this is the angle you think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Is that corn? Yeah, B-roll. Seaborn. <laughs> Wait. And like, it's really good. Cheers. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm 27. I work 40 hours a week. I'm a single mom. To the most beautiful three-year-old girl in the entire world. Oh, tell me what interesting fact about yourself. Uh, oh, okay. I was on vacation in Mexico. I actually went swimming with whale sharks. Wow. Yes. Oh, oh my. That was that's cute. So, so cool. Close enough that you can touch them. They're some of the biggest creatures. not supposed to, but it's right there. Were you nervous for the state? A little bit. I don't know why I was nervous. Like, what if she hasn't been on a date in a while and I screw this up? I'm like, oh god, there's a lot of pressure right now. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> what did you think about dinner? It was really good. Thank you. <laughs> I picked it myself. <laughs> a good job. Let's take top love star. What is your biggest goal for 2021? Be happy. Oh. Are you happy right now? like my only fresher I have left. It has like these very obvious holes. And I was like, I hope she doesn't notice. I wouldn't have until you just pointed it out. Dude, now she'll notice because <laughs> I pointed it out. I made fun of myself, so she can't make fun of me now. From one out of 10, 10. One out of 10, nine. Rate the company from one to 10. <laughs> she said 10, she said 10. I said 10. Uh. Feeding me with all these lies, I feel so good. The cow was like, oh, does he After dinner, I decided to drive to this beautiful viewpoint and spend an hour listening to each other's gonna favorite go back songs. And forth on jams. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna judge you hard on this one. No. You don't play closer by the chain smokers right now. <laughs> Is sunset biscuit lover <laughs> biscuit petite? Yes. <laughs> Does it kind of sound like a cat? Yeah, it does! <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have to pretend to like each other anymore. Oh Close your eyes! Do you feel the music? Are your eyes closed? <laughs> closed! Do you feel the music? Yeah! In your soul? <laughs> wow, okay. This is one of Cassie's favorite songs. <laughs> So good. You are everything I'm not. 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 This next part was my favorite part of the night. Hey, you want to hear what she did? What? She did roll down the hill sideways. You want to do it? Yeah, I kind of. Go. Put your phone in my car so it doesn't fall into the snow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should I take off my shoes? <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be so cold walking back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jackass. It's so cold. <laughs> it's freezing. All right. All right. My feet are already have snow on them, so let's go. Yeah. Afterwards, we went on a drive around downtown. <laughs> Those movies where it's like really cutesy and you and your date want to just drive around the city and jam out to music? Well, guess where we are? <laughs> yes, very scenic. <laughs> what building's that one? You need to give me a tour of, of Hartford. I have no idea. You don't know what building that is? No. I thought you were wait, wait, from wait, wait. the city. Old State House, that's the old State House. Bro, it says that right there. <laughs> where are we? Um. Oh. 
My shoes are still wet still. How's your dating experience going so far? What was your favorite part? <laughs> Probably rolling down the hill. That was really fun. Unfortunately, my shoes have been sold since. So. Really cold, but really fun. <laughs> so this is your first date you've been on since you divorced. I guess it's only logical we get married and divorce <laughs> The logical next step. Is your divorce finally? Um, Holy shoot, I'm on a date with a married woman. I want a date with a married woman! JJ Shiner step on me. Wow. <laughs> Finally, we ended the night at our apartment, enjoying some of the chocolates we got for Valentine's Day. That's either really cool or really shitty. I don't. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We have to close both these to start it. Yep. What floor? I feel like it'd be easier to just walk. <laughs> I was gonna reference the Disney called like the Tower of Terror because he just dropped. Oh no! Oh my god, this is your apartment. <laughs> yeah. What the freak? This is huge. Oh my god. What? Why does this look like a 10 bedroom apartment? <laughs> what is the dumbest purchase you have ever made? <laughs> Would you redo any one part of our date if you could? I wanted to do something more exciting. I wish I had thought of doing something more exciting. And I wanted to take you all to Boston, but it just didn't make logistical sense getting there at like 9.30. Every restaurant being closed or basically spending the entire date in the car. I wish I did something more exciting, maybe like build a snowman or like maybe not write you a note, but think of a cool game that we could have had where we got to know each other a bit more. Maybe something like this. I, I think the music thing was just sitting there and closing my eyes and knowing that I could be in complete silence with a stranger. Mm -hmm. that, that took a lot of courage for me to do just because like I hate when things are quiet. Yeah. Stop eating. Thank you guys for watching. I had Stop an absolutely amazing flowers. day with Cassie. Comment below if you guys want part two and make sure you subscribe. Thank you.